All right, so today I'm going to show you how to use a rotary table. That's what this is. Uh, what this enables you to do is enables you to make precision curved cuts, enables you to make positioned cuts on uh, round stock, you know, whatever. Uh, I'm going to be using this for an operation later, so I'll kind of get a chance to show you what that is. Now, it has a dial here that enables you to turn the table and, you know, keep track of it. This locks down and you can actually disengage the degree wheel here, you know, to be able to reposition it. If you want to get this lined for a certain job and you, you got to be at a certain mark or whatever, okay? The, the table is designed to bolt down to a, bolt down to a, uh, a bench on a mill. something like this okay and there's a number of different ways you can do it but uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using these guys here okay to bolt it down on one side now I haven't created I haven't made a mount for this side yet this is this side here is actually designed to go the mill can work either this table can work either horizontally Or vertically okay so you can kind of see you know how you'd be able to you know do let's say drilling or, or milling operations as the table turns on pieces so you that you can get very precise measurements you've got the degree marks on the edge here you know a lot of, there's a lot of stuff here to this that's actually adjustable um, you can lock the table in position with these guys here, this will lock the table in position, okay? You have one on either side. So, very handy, okay? You can use this here, you know, you can go underneath here, bolt a piece to here, you know, center it. This is actually a Morse taper hole, so you can stick a Morse taper in there. I'm gonna be using this later on to do a, an operation where something has to be hub-centric, okay? So, you know, you stick it, Number two Morse taper will fit right in there just fine. Uh, I am creating a piece to be able to secure it on this side. Now this thing's pretty doggone heavy, so for this operation that I'm gonna be doing with this, you know, the weight of this is gonna be enough to hold it onto the position once I've got this side bolted. But, you know, for future operations where I'm gonna be cutting radiuses, uh, I'm gonna to have to have this side secured. So I'm milling some stuff right now that I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use these blocks to secure the rotary table on this end okay so that's kind of the overview of the unit uh, i'm going to go ahead and put it on my mill and uh, we're going to start we're going to start doing something so i can kind of show you how this works and uh, again you know you can you turn it and it goes per now there is a little bit of slack in the wheel just a just a slight bit it's, it's i believe it's about a half degree something like that um, so you so if you start in one direction you have to make sure that you take the slack out just like with any operation where you're moving a table you know you got to make sure the slack's taken out of this all right so I'm going to demonstrate the use of the table with this uh, with this basic operation here now what I've got is I've got a piece of stock and uh, you know in case that looks like it's large it's actually you know it's big as my smaller than my finger I'm going to drill three holes just like in this piece into this piece. I've already center drilled it, okay, on a lathe, and it's already threaded. It's already drilled out, okay. I gave myself a little bit of uh, room to be able to put marks on this. Uh, so on the piece that I'm doing, I actually inscribed a circle with a mark, and uh, the reason I did that was because I can't go outside of this circle because um, the holes that I drill in it will not pass through to this to this side here, and that's critical. So I, I marked it with a circle just to make sure that the holes are on the path of the circle, and I'm going to be using the rotary table to do it. So what I did was I put it on my Morse taper. I'll zoom out a little bit here. Just going to drop this guy in here, okay? 
So it's nice and secure. And I'm going to continue the operation. I'm going to put a drill head on here. I'm going to continue the operation to where I'm drilling. Now these are very precision holes because this is a uh, this is going to be a setup for a propane for use with propane. But uh, I just wanted to use this as my first operation to just kind of demonstrate how this table actually works. All right, so now I've got uh, what I've done is I've uh, I've put a center countersink on this thing, you know, just to center it. So I've I've marked the hole off of the center about as far out as it can go not as far out as it can go because I didn't want it to be off so I've drilled the first hole so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from zero I gotta do three holes I'm gonna go from zero to 120 because that's one third of 360 degrees so I'm just gonna kinda spin it around here go 120 and then I'm gonna sink my next hole so, um, I do it, I had this countersink at first so that I know that once the, once the, uh, once the drills went in, they were going to go into the holes because they were going to wander if I didn't do that. So, just kind of pitch it down here. And I just want to barely kiss it. Kind of see some meat coming off of there right now. That's about how far I want to go. Okay. So then the next one I'll do another 120 degrees. That'll take me to 240. You see the scale going up here. Two forty and then my next position. Just kind of drop it in there, get that countersink there. And I've got enough meat on this thing to where I can I can actually do this. I did it like that on purpose so that I'd have a little bit of playroom. There it is. Well, maybe a little bit more, just a Okay, so now I'm ready to drill. So I've positioned it, I moved it from the center to the circle, because that's the perimeter of where it has to be drilled. I don't know if it, there it is, it's in focus. So I'm just going to start to drill now. It's going to be a very slow drill because this is an extremely small drill bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and turn this guy on, put it on a super low speed. And that's about it right there. I'm going to go ahead and drill three holes, and that's how you use a rotary drill table. As you can see, I've Actually, here, let me turn it off. As you can see, I've actually bolted it down on this side. I put a bolt on this side just to hold the table against it. So this is, bolt is actually holding against it. So the table's firm enough to be able to do a drilling operation like this. But, uh, you know, thanks for watching the video on the rotary table. Okay, so I've drilled all three holes. I did mark the first hole because that was the one that went through. Sometimes these little drills have a hard time going through because... The metal tends to grab on to them uh, when they get towards the end there. So this is the end of it. Uh, I'll go ahead and turn off the mill. Pull this loose and then you can kind of see it. Now, I know what you're saying. You're saying, oh, the front of that looks kind of sloppy. Well, what I'm going to do is, since I left some extra meat on there, I'm just going to go ahead and... machine it off I'm trying to get a nice neat shot of that but as you can see that looks very similar to what we had and that's what I'm trying to replicate the holes have gone through all the way through this is the new one the, the new ones made out of slightly larger stock than the old one so but you can see that so all that yucky stuff I'll just machine off and it'll be nice and smooth just like the other one. Oh, that's not the other one where is the other one anyway uh, you get the idea uh, as soon as I can find it, here it is. Old one, new one, Comparo. So, very nice, and uh, it's a precision job. It's a pain in the butt, but, you know, somebody's got to do it, and I want to make sure that it's done exactly the way stock is. So, thanks for watching. Oh, yes, and I did want to footnote this. Uh, so, new one, old one, again, there's the Comparo. I'm trying to get this in focus here. 
Uh, you can see the holes. It's not going to pull focus for me. Okay, so you can see the holes. Um, in case you're wondering why the holes are so small, it's because it's drilled for propane, which requires a much smaller hole. The other thing, too, is that whenever I drill something with a power tool, I always drill it undersized. I'm actually going to bore those out by hand. So that is the finished product. I did machine it. Looks nice and neat. So we're ready to go. And a nice, neat job. And the customer's going to love that. It's got three holes just like the old one. Thanks for watching. Oh, that was the point I was going to make. Okay, so in case you don't think I got this inside the hole, okay, uh, trying to focus, 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 trying to pull that focus. Anyway, if you look through the underside of it, through it, you'll see those three holes right there. They're not in focus, but you can kind of see them. Hopefully, this will get focus. You can, you can see them. You can see the outline of them. And here's the other side, three holes. So you can see the light coming through them. So they are uh, aligned where I ex expected them to be. And that's it. So thanks for watching the video, even though we're ending out of focus.